Okay, hello everyone. Well, this is very exciting. This is probably one of our most exciting Facebook lives ever. Ever. So we're gonna introduce all ourselves. And first thing, I'm Miguel Maestre. I'm the chef consultant from Paisley Bar. I'm trying to just make a lot of mess every time I come into all the settings <laughs> and make a lot of people smile and just come up with beautiful ideas for the menus. Mm -hmm. yeah. no, I'm Penny. I'm introducing myself. I'm Penny. I'm the director at Mountain and the curriculum mentor for Paisley Park. And I'm Jason. Put your hand up. Come on, you <laughs> you put your hand up. I'm Jason Stanley. I'm the executive chef for Paisley Park, and I travel around mentoring all our chefs and um, implementing our food philosophy and uh, Miguel's recipes and our menus for the whole of Paisley Park. Jason, you'll agree with me, and, and this is the first time we're going to have some real talent in our Facebook Live. Absolutely. We got them all here, they're going to show us all up. I know, and we got all these real chefs in the front. So, obviously, um, we, it's nobody that does what we do. We have an amazing food philosophy that we like, we're very proud of, and that nobody else does in this country. And I don't think anywhere around the world, we believe in fresh food, cook as is best, and getting people involved, and getting all the children involved. Uh, this is the presentation we do in this because every season we have a different menu. So this is our autumn menu. And I don't think I was, when I was here in the plane this morning, I was thinking, I wonder what place in the world do what we do. Do like go along with the season and trying to find the best ingredients in the season to cook, you know, what is the best ingredients at its peak. And, and, and the key thing that we do in all our centers is, you know, we try to use local meat and vegetable suppliers for all our produce. Um, in Melton, who, who are we using in Melton? So we use Oz Tender Cuts in Melton and we use the Fruits of Life in Bacchus Marsh. Had to get close to them. Very, very close. Local for everybody in Melton. And just tell us a little bit, before we go into the cooking, just tell us a little bit, what is, what did you actually, how you travel first in the subway? What is your most favorite thing when you do your job? I love interacting with the um, educators because not only do we educate the children, it's about their educators learning as well. Um, so they are developing their own um, techniques as well. So we're, we're helping them to learn how to best teach the children. Oh, that's pretty amazing, isn't it? That's it's fantastic. Great. And, and I guess, role. yeah, and I guess, you know, the best thing about, you know, obviously, since I've got this job and I've been working with you, Jason, is very challenging. This is the toughest critics in the world here. Oh, so yeah. much. <laughs> you can have a restaurant. I've been working in a restaurant all my life, and you can have a food critic, and they all say, oh, that's very nice. But the real children here, they actually, they don't like something they'll tell you. Well, wow. They'll tell you. Yeah, they'll tell you. That's a little bit windy. As, what about the weather? It's really amazing. That's I've seen a the weather. Beautiful day. <laughs> we're and, lucky. And I believe, you know, what we're doing today, we're going to teach you an amazing recipe that is going to be in, a, in your menu. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Who is excited? Let me hear you. Who is excited? Okay. <laughs> Who is excited? Let me hear you. Yay! Yeah, now we're talking. The loudest guy in the room is talking about my life. They're warming so, up. So I believe. Uh, uh, the most favorite thing about having a full philosophy is that we got these amazing, you know, directions and these directives that we It's coming again. It's coming again. It's coming again. The most amazing thing about our full philosophy is that, you know, we, we're really passionate. We're all really passionate people. I've never been in one center. I have seen someone that is not really happy to work here. We're really passionate. Oh, absolutely. Children. Everyone in the, in the our kitchens. Extremely passionate what they do. It's one of the key things I look for when, when I'm looking for a staff member for the kitchen is you know, they can have all, all the qualifications in the world, but we need the passion. We need them to really love cooking for children, experimenting with new food, and being involved with the children. And what, um, we do, what we do here, Jason, like, I don't think, you know, we have an amazing website where you can track the recipes that we cook. In oh, the absolutely. Menus. You can see uh, all the parents are there, they're watching this Facebook Live at the moment. What we do, you can follow up exactly all our full menus. You can track, you can log in our website, have a look in our recipes and see Jason and I cooking and see what your children are having. And every day we also include in our, in our um, you know, reflections that the parents get each day, you know, a full panel on what nutritionally the, the, the food is providing for their, for their children as well. You know, with a nice, nice photograph of what, what, they, what they have. And nobody does that. <laughs> and it's very exciting, yeah. and it's, yeah. it's really amazing. And obviously, seasonal produce, cooked beautiful in the centers with every uh, person, the chefs in our centers, they cook mm -hmm. all their food, fresh to order. Getting the 
children involved. They get them really excited about the one food. Of the, one of the great things about designing our menus is, you know, we, we try to include quite a few dishes in, in, in the menus that the children can be involved with. You know, today we've got your uh, Miguel Maestro chicken. But, you know, we also have, uh, you know, Chris Chris chicken, roast chicken tacos. We have, you know, some wraps and stuff that children can build and construct themselves and, and learn independence and, and working in the motor skills and they start to be more confident. And I, I never get, I never get tired to say the same story. The first time we did our first cooking, you know, adventure for Paisley Pan. I we cook this paella with all these amazing ingredients and it's got chorizo and it got paprika and we all sit down in a table and to see all of them serving each other yeah. and being so identified with the food yeah. it was like a big moment for me and that's I guess you know what is so special about what we do here. And the amazing thing in that first time was you know, a lot of parents were saying they might my children my niece but because they were involved in the whole process no, all of a sudden, yeah, you know, the children want him to give it a go. It's, it's, it's a great way. Okay, so who wants to get involved here? Should we get the kids to the, the children to come and cook with us? Yes, I absolutely think we should. Okay, who is going to be? You would like to all, all of you join us with the chef hats? I come, Christian Macy. Christian Macy, would you like to join us? Come up and cook. Let's go. Very chill. <laughs> very chill. And yeah, would like to come and give us a hand. Come, Macy, for two. Okay, so the, the recipe we're doing today yeah, is like one of my most you favorite chickens. Come meet Miguel. Normally when, you know, texture, really nice. texture, hi Christian, how are you? Oh, give me five. <laughs> nice, give me five. Very good. What's your name? Maya. Maya, give me five. Very good. Your name? Oliver. Oliver, what a nice name. Give me five. Your name is? Abigail. Abigail, very nice. Give me five. And your name? Kira, what a team! I wonder what kitchen in the world have this amazing brigade. You know what I'm gonna do? First thing, I'm gonna go to your high. I'm gonna do like this. Look at this. Slightly a little bit closer to you, okay? So, for children, one of the most exciting things when they're eating texture is something really important. So, things that crispy, they love. You know, we love chicken, we love crispy chicken, but I guess in our menus, we're trying to avoid all the frying, all the really unhealthy cooking techniques. The, the things that we do as chefs to make things crispy. Yeah, to make things crispy. <laughs> but, for example, the, it's a perfect example of how great all our cooking is from scratch today. All our sauces we make in the house, all our pastas we make in the house, Absolutely. all our breads we make in the house. And it's something we're very proud of. Having close, having very close relationship with our local producers, they give us a very strong yeah. strength knowing where things come yeah, from. It allows us to communicate, communicate with our suppliers that, you know, they go to the markets every day. You know, they can tell us what's good, what's not good, you know, and so we can go, you know, okay, that's not good, we'll get something else in, change our menu up a little bit, and use something different than the menu. That's fantastic. So, we're going to start to do the crumb, okay? We're going to do a crumb that is really crispy. Really, really crispy. Okay? Who wants to give me the first hand? Who is going to put the panko crumb? Christian, we like to put the panko. There's a chopper. <laughs> you know, you just screaming, there's a chopper going up. Go to the chopper, go to the chopper! Who wants to do the crumbs first? Who wants to do the crumbs? Okay, Oliver, you want to do the crumbs? You put your hands first? Okay, I want to use this is bread crumbs. This is bread crumbs. Everybody, have a smell, have a touch. Everybody, have a little bit. Would you like to have a little, would you like to have a taste? Get a little bit and taste it. Can have a taste? Don't be shy. It's like crispy bread. Try it, you can try it. You can try it, everyone can try it. Come on, give it a try. You can try it, come on, try it, everyone. What does it taste like? Does it taste like what? Is it bread? Bread! Yeah. Well done! That's right. Would you like to have a taste? Maisie, Would you like you to have a taste, Maisie? Oh, that's oh, that a, was a big, big one. Taste. That's my kind of taste. <laughs> yeah. oh. Good job. Okay. So crispy. Is it good? Is it crunchy? Mm -hmm. Does so it taste like? <laughs> Christian, I'm gonna get you to do the first step for our crumb. So this is the panko bread crumbs. I want you to put them in there in that tray. So Can you're you gonna put get in the this bowl, tray for me? Please, and you put them inside. Put them inside, don't be shy. Pour it in. The whole thing. Put them all in there. Good. Yeah, good job. what a good job. I'll the bowl Thank over you very here. much. Okay, so who is the next person who's gonna give me a hand? Who is the next person who's gonna, gonna give help. me a hand? Oh, hey, maybe both of you can give me a hand. Okay. Okay, so Kira? This is Maya. Maya, 
Maya, we got some beautiful toasted oats. So I'm gonna get you to put them inside the same tray. <laughs> She's gonna go for a taste. Everybody can have a taste. Everybody go for a taste. This is quinoa puffs. So you got some toasted oats and quinoa puffs. The quinoa puffs are really crunchy. And the oats are very good for you. So what I'm gonna get you to do, Maya, you're gonna put this in the same tray we did before. I'm okay, and Oliva, you're gonna put an Oliva, you're gonna put it in the same tray here. Okay, everyone, get a little room here. There you go. The quinoa puffs are very crispy and really lovely texture. They get a lot of crunch. Excellent, good job. I'll have that one. And now we're gonna do. Who is gonna do? You're gonna go for it. Don't be shy. Come on, Maya. Don't be shy. You're gonna pop that all in there. Put it in there. Good job. So the secret of involvement is the secret of success, I guess. Oh my god, everybody knows what it is. What is <laughs> listen, listen to the crunch. Listen how crunchy. Would you like to put it inside the bowl? Would you like to put it inside the bowl? Yeah? What you like corn flakes. Don't be shy. What are they? Do we have them for breakfast? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 Corn flakes! Good job. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's right, you can have it out. Good job. Good job. Okay, that's very good. So, what else ingredients we have? Okay, we got a really exciting one here. This is polenta. Anybody polenta. know what polenta is? It looks funky, isn't it? It looks really funky. What color is it? Yellow. Yellow. Yeah, very good. We didn't put anything inside yet. Oliva, you wanna put something in? <laughs> you wanna put the polenta in? Say, polenta's got a lovely crunch too. Go for it. Don't be shy. Hey, oh, very nice. And we have. What's this? Okay, one? what is this ingredient? I think one of our friends over here can do this. What's this ingredient? Cheese. Cheese, you yes. guys. Here we are, very nice. <laughs> so, what kind of cheese is Parmesan cheese? <gasps> Smell nice, isn't it? <laughs> Good job. Is that a good smell? I love the smell. It's a yeah. Oh, yeah. That is the you know best. that one? Um, okay. So parsley. What is, Everyone needs to smell this one. This will okay, be really nice. This. Parsley's got a lovely, beautiful acidity. It's very crunchy. Would you like well, to put it in, Darcy? She wants to put it in. in. <laughs> okay, you put it in. You go and put it in. Very good. Okay, now we have okay. a spoon. So what we're going to do... Okay, who's gonna do the what mixing? Do, what do you think we should do now? Mix it up? Everybody's gonna mix me, it? Me, me, me. Okay, so we got in a, what about we all mix it? What about starting from you, Christian? Get a mix it, mix it. Okay. Yeah, no, no, we all do it. Now, um, Abigail, we let Abigail give it a go. Now, Christian, you can come to this side. Come to this side. Get some in the other corner. Come to this side. Every, a little bit of space for the next. Come here. Now, Maya can go ahead and get mix it, mix it, mix it. Give someone else a go. To it all? Yeah. Else there you go. So we're mixing it in, and as you can hear, all that crunch. So we got all the flakes, the quinoa puffs, all that is giving a lovely crunch. The polenta is gonna give a hand to make it okay. stick to the chicken. We got a lovely parsley, a little bit of acidity. We got the parmesan saltiness. Oliver, we like to mix a little bit too. We got two spoons. We got another spoon. We can do two spoons in there. Yeah. You, yeah. you gonna mix it a little you bit? Here you go. There you go. Good job. So you know we need together. a pair of tongs. Yeah. Pair of tongs will be great. Right. Yes. Okay. Now, so this we got a de delicious sauce in here. We got the chicken in here. Chicken, sauce, and crumbs. Okay. So we're gonna have a. This is gonna be as easy as this. Everybody's gonna get the chicken, and everybody's gonna get the crumb. <laughs> Who wants to do their own chicken? Crunchy. I want to do my own chicken. Yeah. I want to do my own chicken. Okay, so this is how it's gonna work. <laughs> this is how it's gonna work. Okay, the tones, beautiful. Here, yeah, thank you very much. So how it's gonna work, this is gonna work, we're gonna work in a chain, okay? So what is gonna what happen? We use the first pair of I will give them the gal first pair. I'll give you so I'll show the first one and I'll tell you what you do what I do. Okay, okay? So I'm gonna get this a lovely chicken tenderloin. That is being this is one of the nicest part of the chicken, it's really soft. So to make it even softer. We cook in buttermilk and chicken stock. So it's really tender. So when you eat it, it's very soft. What we're gonna do with the tenderloin? We're gonna drop it in the sauce. Look at how funky it's looking now. Okay. And now from the sauce, with a little bit of the sauce to help it to glue into the crumbs. And now this is the most fun part. I'm gonna put it there. Christian, just shake the tray. This tray, shake it. Just the tray, shake it harder, harder. <laughs> hey, 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 beautiful, beautiful. Look at this, look at what's happening now. This whole chicken is all crispy now. 
Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna these all the crumbs they stick because the sauce is helping to stick, and we've got a lovely crunch for a crispy chicken without the frying and without the whole unhealthy process. What's happened to our chicken? Okay, anybody else? Who is the first person gonna give it a go? You're gonna give it a go, man. Here, come here. And it's all, all out to you guys. So start from the chicken first. You can have two. Grab one of the chicken in the sauce. Make sure to get sauce everywhere. Very good job. And now the head. And remember Maya to get a strong shaking. Very strong shake. Strong one. Don't be shy. With the two hands. With the two hands. There you go. Oh, we almost there. And now what we're gonna do. Look at this. Oh. Crispy chicken. Okay, who wants to do another chicken? Okay, everybody. So Maya, now you can go. To, yeah, Oliver, you can do now. Get your tongs. The chicken gets yeah. all covered up. Chicken gets covered up in the sauce. And I guess at the end of the day, this is what is the most important part. Here we go. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Six little children really excited about the lunch. I think we are very excited about lunch too. Yeah, now we we'll drop it like it's hot. <laughs> Put it in the grease. And I guess and this is what it's all about. Shake. 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 We'll see you in 10 minutes. We'll be showing you how to cook this whole dish from scratch. Thank you very much, Benny. Thank you, yes. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Everyone say goodbye. Bye. <laughs>